One of the greatest and most misleading misconceptions in new thought is that when you are on the right track, you will feel good. The fact is, the way you feel, the sensations you experience, relates completely to your history with whatever thought you're taking on. For example, if you were a child and you said, I can do it, and someone slapped you across the face when you said that, any time you think, I can do it, you are most likely going to feel the sensation you felt when you were about to be slapped across the face years ago. If this is a sensation that you think you can't tolerate, the only way you can get away from that sensation, or at least ensure that you will not be in a situation where that sensation might arise, is to exchange the thought behind it. I can do it for a thought that will not produce that sensation. That thought would be, I can't do it. You will now feel safe, but of course, you won't do it, since, as we will see, thoughts are the source of all we do and all we see before us. Belief could be said to be our point of focus. When we choose a thought, we know it's a thought among many thoughts, so the other possible thoughts are still in our awareness. The way that I also explain it is if you ever wear eyeglasses and you go to the eye doctor and they keep turning the lens to say one or two, three or four, it's kind of picking the lens that you're choosing to look at life through. When we experience the sensation associated with that thought, we then have to make a decision as to whether to stay with the thought or jump away from it to another one in order to avoid the sensation. 